for joining me. This is A Touch of Tarot. If you would be interested in any info, it will be right below the video. So let's get into the message from March. What's coming in for Gemini? Okay, I let me just get out the cards. Wow, so far you're starting with three major arcanas. That's heavy, okay. A pentacle, and I want to say a wish. It is the Seven of Cups, however. Okay. And let's take it from the top and see what's here. We have the Nine of Swords. Okay. Let's see what's going on here for you, Geminis. It's interesting because at the top, you have something solid that has happened. I feel like you've gone through some sort of a transformation recently, a significant life experience that requires changes to be made, powerful and often unexpected revelations, breaking free of procrastination, releasing old beliefs systems. Um, Gemini, it's really cool. I think you're going in a new direction. You are having the strength to go down a new path. Now, I'm not saying anything about leaving anyone or anything like that, but it's probably a transformation within yourself or within the way you're thinking, but you are rebuilding your foundation, okay? And to be honest, with the transformation card, it could be that almost you've gone through this because there's people working on this tower so it's also a message, you know, good things take time type of an energy I'm getting here with that. Um, let's see what else we have. What the strength card, whatever you went through, definitely made you stronger. I feel like you've learned how to, Gemini, how to uh, tame the beast is what I'm getting with this. But... Okay, put a cap on your emotions, put a cap on your um, on your anger, on your frustration, on uh, just lashing out if you're mad type of thing. You've really learned to control yourself. There's something um, that you've learned within yourself, even possibly to not procrastinate is what I'm getting, to go for your dreams, to put the work in, to not give up, um, that you have an endless amount of energy or like positivity like there's something great here that's happening okay gems and with the ace of pentacles first of all like what does this say a windfall of abundance wise counsel or good fortune an excellent career opportunity a lucrative contract significant purchase like a home or vehicle there is something great happening you are like moving into a new home within yourself it's like you've rebuilt your, your structure, you've done something to yourself, and now you have endless opportunities coming your way. When I say that, okay, I'm not going to say endless, but you have a lot of opportunities coming your way. You're going to have a choice, make a choice, stop procrastinating now. You don't need to overanalyze, get clarity on what you desire, and move forward. Um, so this is about being really clear and moving forward. Now, with the Nine of Swords at the bottom... I do feel that there's a little bit of hesitation or sadness about going for your dreams. And I know that sounds weird, but um, I don't know. There's like a, I don't know if you're worried you're going to have to leave something or a person. But it's, it's an unfortunate, sorry, let me see. Unfounded fear is what it says. So it's an unfounded fear. So whatever you're worried about, you're expecting something to happen that you might not enjoy. And I mean, you just have to let go of whatever you're worrying about. Let's clarify these cards here. Transformation. Here we go. Strength. I can't believe you got three majors right away. Yeah. Wow. I'm seeing something big here. Star card. Ooh. Hold on, I want to shuffle that again because that's too weird. I think another, okay, that's fine. Is that the best way to say it? Perfect. Yeah, there's something there. Um, those exact two cards had come out somewhere else. Sometimes I just get weirded out when the cards do that. I'm like, how is that possible? 
You know what I mean? You shuffle so much. Okay, wow. Your message is so beautiful. And the nine. I'm only going to take one. We have the four and a four here. How beautiful is that? Okay, so gems. Definitely something has come in. For some of you, you've actually got some money that came in or something like that. Maybe that's why you're able to reorganize your house. Um, but there is balance being restored to the situation with the Six of Pentacles clarifying the Tower card. You're no longer fighting things that are not worth your time or putting energy even into negative thoughts or even actions because, I mean, thinking is an action. We're actually doing it, right? And there's something here with the Two of Swords um, clarifying the Star card. You're coming to a realization. It's like something to do with what you're putting your energy into and what you no longer uh, will put your energy in. There's this, this serious pillar energy with you. I don't know if you're going through a passage, a portal um, of some sort, but with the Empress clarifying the Ace of Pentacles, this is something huge. I don't know if you're like starting a new career, a new job well yeah that's a career like a business like it's uh entrepreneur almost but even a family because this talks about moving into a home you could be planting the seeds in march um and so count the nine months away someone may be moving and making uh, having a baby okay um with the options you definitely are going to be satisfied with whichever you choose as you choose them Okay, we have the emperor. So I don't know if some of you are, are worried about this change in your situation, but trust because the emperor is um, the energy of a strong foundation. So for that to be coming up, it's literally saying there's nothing to worry about. Your foundation is now stronger. If it's with someone that you know, because we do have the emperor and the empress. I don't know why that just took me so long to clue into. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It is late and I am on my like six reading right now. Um, but, you know, I don't know why that I missed that. With the four of wands here, there's actually like a divine connection and, you know, even the King of Cups is about someone coming back. But here it is talking about um, someone getting what they want and enjoying it. Enjoying life again is what I'm getting here. And no longer fighting as well. Like fighting the um, fight. It's like something like someone was fighting something. But they see that actually maybe someone was fighting putting work in or someone was Thinking they can't have what they want, but they are clearing that energy 1,000%. It's like someone's gone through a transformation, and literally you have that card right there. So yeah, you've gone through a transformation. Let's see what other energies come up for Gemini. So I'm going to pull two, one for you, one for your person. So we have the poet, which is really beautiful. Um, expressing soul insight in symbolic language. So some of you might turn, look into this. I'm going to have the slave energy, surrendering, surrendering your power of choice to the vine with complete trust. Okay, so gems, I think that there's a situation that kind of has to come down to be rebuilt and for some sort of a union to come together. But remember, I just, I'm reminding myself right now, I said, I think this has already happened because it's in the process of rebuilding. There's workmen on the top roofs there. Like they've already rebuilt this foundation. It looks solid, beautiful, sparkling. Um, so it's just almost a matter of time until you move into there. And I really feel that you possibly may be moving, uh, at least starting a new, starting a new somewhere, having a fresh chance, having a fresh start. It's really interesting, and I actually love the Emperor and Empress because um, it's my power couple energy. I feel like they don't have to get married. I feel like they have this 11-11 twin energy, you know what I mean, um, regardless, no matter what. And with the poet energy and the slave, I kind of feel, to be honest, um, that the slave energy maybe more yours right now because it talks about surrendering your power of choice to the divine 
So you're like releasing, you're like divine, take it. I trust you with the two of swords. Now is the star. Like, you know what I mean? I trust you. I'm putting my sword down. I'm putting my thoughts down. Um, take it away. And then here with the poet energy, expressing, expressing soul light in symbolic language, I kind of feel more that that is what's coming in some sort of um, beautiful expression, right? If there is a masculine involved here, um, like, you know, if you know who I'm talking about here, your twin energy here, it could be this person that's having some worry. Why exactly this person would be having worry? Well, there's going to be a change here. And it's for the long term. Abundance from the past choices. is That's interesting. Um, there's going to be success. And underneath is the Ten of Pentacles. There's just going to be a huge change here is what I got to say. So gems, um, it's all good too when you have the Emperor and the Empress and a new beginning happening with the Ace of Pentacles here. And it's going to be so enjoyable. I'm just getting it's going to be so enjoyable. Whoever this energy is, the Knight of Cups, um, it doesn't matter. There's so many new things to celebrate within whatever is being rebuilt here, whatever's coming together. There's no more arguing either. There's actually a conscious effort to give to this uh, goal, connection, wish with the star card. And there's a conscious connection to be your highest self here, to not fight. Um, and it's true. You're getting what you want because of it. Because under the four of wands is the other five of wands. This is a double decker. And there's no more fighting going on here. It's actually people in alliance trying to make this work together. Okay. There could have also been someone who's a bit of an alcoholic. And if that's the case then that's ending. This person is putting that away, dumping out the alcohol. That's a side message for someone. Okay, Gems, your reading was great. I will see you soon. Bye for now.